Jacksonville, Florida, a city located in Northeast Florida. No matter where you are, you're just minutes away from the water. From the white sandy beaches of Little Talbot to the dark murky water of the St. John's. You could bet yourself, if there's water, there's gonna be people fishing. What's going on guys, since I'm not fishing today, um, I gotta watch my son. I wanna talk about rods and reels and gear and stuff like that. Um, so right here I got my St. Croix Mojo Inshore. It's a seven foot medium power fast action rod. I really like this rod because it's really lightweight and I love the Fuji guides. Um, I've been buying all the cheap rods and stuff and them guys, they don't last that long. The insert usually pops out. And I got it paired up with my Shimano Stratic 3000 size. Spooled up with 20 pound um, Power Pro. I really love this reel because it's lightweight and it's really smooth. Just like butter, you know? And right now I got it rigged up with a Carolina rig with 20 pound floral and a J hook. But I got other rods and reels too. Not just. Shimano reels either. Um, I got me a Abu Garcia as a volatile. This one is a 7.6. It's a little bit longer, you know? So you can cast out a little bit further. Um, these also uses Fuji guides too. And Fuji guides are really good. And I think this is an Abu Garcia reel. It's an Aura inshore. It's a size 3000 size. And I got this with um, 15 pound braid. Same thing, I got a um, Carolina rig with 20 pound floral and a J hook. But you guys already know we've been catching, we've been catching these fishes, these sheep's head with this jig right here, man. It's, um, it's a bottom sweeper style jig, but the brand is a salt donkey jig. We got a buddy that makes it for us and he makes them in all different colors and stuff, especially the natural colors, which we like. And what makes these jigs highly effective is once you drop them all the way to the bottom, the hook point stays up. So your hookup ratio increases dramatically. And most of the time, we fish these vertical up and down. I say these jigs are more effective than a, than a Carolina rig because if you're fishing behind a pylon, say this, say this is the weight, the egg sinker, and you got line out on your Carolina, Carolina rig, your line gonna sway around a lot, you know? So, I mean, you might miss bites because you, you, you're not feeling it. But this jig, the you know all the weight is right there, you know. So whatever bites it, you feel it right away. So yeah, these jigs are really effective, man. I just want to mention too, like, get whatever that works for you guys. This is my own personal preference, but you might like a different brand or a different style rod or whatever, you know. Um, just get whatever that works for you, because I've seen people out there with cane poles catching them, like big old sheep's head. With a big old cane pole, a 12 foot cane pole, man, out there just getting it. Guys, when you're looking for sheep's head too, look out for like rock piles, old docks, you know, docks with like barnacles and stuff growing all over it. All kinds of stuff, you know, like something with structure too, you know. I'm pretty sure most of you can find it, but once you find it, start chumming them a little bit, man. Cause once you chum them, they start coming for real. I guess they smell all that chum and stuff, you know, all that juice and stuff in the water, so. And before I forget, I forgot to mention our fluorocarbon leader line. We're using SeaWorks HPX fluorocarbon leader line. It gives the high abrasion resistance and the ultra stealthiness that we need to get on these donkeys and stuff. And best of all, they're here locally in Jacksonville. So that's a plus for us. And I want to give a huge shout out to our sponsors and stuff. I want to give a thanks to Fish Bites, Fish Bites Trading Post, Salt Donkey Jigs, Ocean Way Sunglasses, SeaWorks, Strike Zone Fishing, and St. Augustine Paddle Sports. Thank you guys, you guys are real MVP. We appreciate that. There it is. Ooh, ooh. All right, let's over. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
see if we can get a fish in the boat. Try it. Alright. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Look at that guy. That's what we're after right there, boys. Big old sheep's head. This guy was only about six feet down, caught on a live fiddler crab. Three-eighths ounce salt donkey jig. Did the job. Sweet. Hi, buddy. Good luck. All right, you guys, that's what we're after right there. Just ran into two subscribers. Eric and Ryan from West Virginia, right? Yeah. Told me they just had their first sheep's head a couple weeks ago and it was awfully tasty. You guys want this one for dinner? Sure, you don't care. Nope, we got plenty. Nice one. Ooh, this is really bad. Thank you. Sideways, bro. Nice little sheep. 